I'm Chris and I teach painting and decorating at East Sussex College Group Eastbourne. Okay, so here at Eastbourne we've got levels one, two and three. Um, level one is the, the basic side of things, level two is up in this workshop a little bit more advanced and level three is your spraying and uh, more technical side of things. Yes, yeah, so level one you've got basic brush skills, paper hanging and a little bit of specialist finishing. It's all about developing your skills, getting you ready to move on to level two and into the industry. Level two is the more advanced stage thing, so more papering, um, specialist papering, a bit of graining, a bit of marbling, specialist finishes, um, and then more advanced painting. And level three, you've got a bit of spraying, a bit of marbling, a bit of graining. That's a technical qualification as well, so it's a new A-level standard in vocational. Levels one, two, and three, it's around three days a week. Um, you've got your maths and English sit inside that as well. The, there's not expected to study outside. If you can study, let's do some work outside. If you've got family members that want, want some work done or you can work for employers, then that is encouraged. But most of the work is done in the workshop. Um, there is theory work, so you've got two sessions of theory a week and the rest of the time is practical. That's around seven sessions a week in the workshop. Okay, so at level one, it's an unaccredited course, but you're working towards level two. Um, so a level one standard is, we all assess at level two, um, so it gives you a bit more of an advantage when you get to level two, you're in a level two standard. Level two is the City and Guilds qualification, so you'll be assessed in the workshop, practically and both, and theoretically. Um, you have a couple of online tests and then paper-based tests. In the workshop, you have a series of assessments you have to do. At level three, you have an end of unit synoptic test in the workshop and then one online test as well. So in the workshops, it's similar to what you'd have in the environment. It's a simulated workshop, basically. So it would be like someone's bedroom or front room. You've got windows, doors, chimney breasts, uh, coving ceilings, so all the things you find in a basic room. Um, at level one, it's a similar, similar style, but a little bit more basic. So the only thing you'll need to provide is white trousers, bib and brace, um, boots, and then, or if you want old clothes, but um, that's most of it. All the tools and equipment are provided by us. If you want to bring your own stuff, then that's more than welcome. We encourage that if you can. Um, but yeah, you use your own, you, we, we provide you with everything. Yeah. Once studying levels one, two, and three, you can go out to industry as an improver. Then you work in industry, you work in the construction industry in either new builds or just commercial or residential properties doing uh, painting and decorating. So the level twos are designed in their own bedrooms for children. Uh, well, not their own children, but um, they're designing a children's bedroom. So they've been given a design brief and they're, um, they're designing the room. So they've designed it, they've worked out the colour schemes, they've worked out the theory behind the colour, and now they're designing the rooms and painting them out. Whereas a lot of other places wouldn't do that sort of thing. Yeah, so we really encourage our students to be really creative and express their own sort of styles when they're doing their own work. Yeah, so we're very keen on competitions as well here. So over the last couple of years, we've had silver and gold medalists. Um, we usually take students over to world skills training and come back with some sort of medal. So if your, if your ability is at that level, then we'll train you up and take you to the competitions as well. If you have any more questions about painting and decorating, please get in touch. Uh, if you are thinking about applying for the course, please go to the website for more information.